Hi, today we're starting with our Beckman rearrangement. We are about to weigh out our oxime here. We need about 0.2 grams. So we're gonna go ahead and tear the balance with the, with the weigh boat on it. And then you can, yeah. Now we're shooting for 0.2 grams. As always, it's more important that you write down exactly what you see. So I'll just start with a small amount. I have no idea how dense this stuff is. And then you can leave it on the balance. All right, so go ahead and you can leave that on there and just go in from the sides. Okay. Okay. Way on the other side. Way off. Cool. All right. So while he is recording the weight, you can record for your post lab report. Like 0 0.2086 grams, and we will go get the sulfuric acid next. All right, now we are adding our sulfuric acid. We need to add half a milliliter to our test tube that is containing our oxygen. Right here. Right, but it's not like. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Getting half a mil. So I'm going to try again on that one. And if it's a little bit more, that's okay. Because we, it, it's in excess, so. So we're adding half a milliliter, maybe a little bit more, to our test tube with our oxygen. Now we're going to take that over to our hot bath, and we're going to let it react for 15 minutes. Sulfuric acid mixture um, reacting in our hot water bath should be around 80 degrees. We've turned it up just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do a small workup to check where the reaction is by TLC. So we're going to take a drop of our reaction material. And with the workup, right, this is an acid, so that everything is protonated and dissolved in water. So a little bit less than that. I'll get rid of about half of that. There we go. We just want to, that, that should be good. Now, what I would do is just pull the water up and down. We're putting it into a test tube or into a little reaction vial and working it up with water. So do you see any white cloudiness when you do that? Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so this will, and it doesn't matter if some of it gets stuck in there, just push it back in. Now we're going to add a few drops of ethyl acetate. The ethyl acetate should dissolve organic material that has crashed out. All right? See, we have that nice white product. So go ahead and we're going to add, you know, maybe about this amount of ethyl acetate. And that should dissolve all of that product so that we can spot it on our TLC plate. Of course, that bottle is almost empty as well. There we go, that should be plenty. Just go ahead and squirt that in there. Put the cap on it and we'll shake it up. We're essentially doing a little baby extraction here. All right, so the product crashed out. It's not really soluble in the water. We add an organic solvent and it should dissolve. There we go. And now just set it down and open the cap and we'll let the layers separate. We already have taken our TLC plate and spotted a standard of our oxime. So we are now going to spot 
the top layer of our little work up here. There we go. We're just double checking to make sure that we can see the spot for the oxine, the starting material, and the reaction. And so now, and so we're good to go. If you want to go ahead and put that in, we're going to add this to our TLC chamber that is 70 or what was it, 30% ethyl acetate in hexanes. And we're going to run that. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice. There we go. So we'll drop that down in there. And we will come back once this TLC plate is ready to go. TLC plate. Looks like we still have a fair amount of starting material. Um, it's hard to tell if we have product, uh, but considering our time restraints this semester, we're going to go ahead and stop and work it up and analyze by IR. The workup for this reaction is really easy. You just add a couple milliliters of water and your starting material or product, we'll find, we'll verify in IR, uh, will just crash out. After that, you just have to vacuum filter, and then you can analyze by melting point an IR.